Welcome back to Traffic Talk with Ashley Moran from Acadiana Planning Commission. And Ashley, this time around, we're talking about heat and its effects on roads and somehow ice. Yeah, no, this is really cool. So, you know, when we have these kind of heat, these temperature variations, right, some of our road transportation materials are very, very <laughs> sensitive to those. Because, you know, it's like chemistry. Anytime, like, you build a road uh, composition, like your concrete or asphalt, it has what's called a mixed design. So they have to figure out how much rocks, how much of the, I call it the glue. <laughs> There's a technical term for it, I'm not going to say, but, like, it's, you know, the binder, essentially, is what they call it. Uh, but basically, the asphalt, concrete, they're all like various variations of rocks and glue. So, you know, asphalt, it's hot. It's hot all the time. When it's hot here, they can pour it any time. Concrete, concrete is the, the special snowflake of transportation <laughs> uh, roadway materials. It can only be poured in certain conditions. So it gets too cold, can't pour concrete. Gets too hot, you can't pour concrete. So basically, after it gets to be about 85 degrees, very tricky pouring the concrete. Now, some mixes have higher temperatures that they can uh, pour under, like 90 degrees. But uh, you know, they usually ha they have to ice the concrete down while they're pouring it to make sure that it sets properly. Or they just uh. won't pour it if it's too hot of conditions. So you do get some delays, and we have 110 degrees, which is sorry unfathomable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they are going to delay when they do those specific operations. So you see some of them working at night to kind of combat this very early in the morning is a popular mm -hmm. time for roadway work. Uh, just because they know they're going to have those optimal conditions for making sure when they're making this huge investment because concrete costs the earth. <laughs> Which is very surprising, expensive. You know? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's those raw materials. That's it's got, true. They have a plant they have to make it at. You know, it's, it's very complicated. So, you know, it costs the earth and then, like, they have to set it and you have to make sure your little forms are all right. So, there's a lot of that goes into mm. that. So, Definitely, we have to make sure that whenever we're having those conditions, we are, we're building our road to the best standards. Right. Cause, well, because yeah. you don't want to have to come back and repair the thing you just did. And a lot of people don't know that concrete, you won't know if the concrete is good for like 30 to 60 days. Because really? when they, yeah, when they do it, they pour it in these little cylinders mm -hmm. and they have breaks. And so they'll take it, you know, after so many days, they'll go and they'll, you know, put pressure on the concrete to see if it's uh. good or not. So sometimes that's why you'll see a road being built and then they'll have to rip it up after a few months because it was not good concrete. It's not just you thinking that it's uh, going bad fast there. Hey, you know, Ashley, thank you so much. That was very insightful. We'll see you next week for another Traffic Talk. In the meantime, we got to talk about the weather, where we are tracking.